Hi, this is Gerardo Valero transmitting from my hometown of Mexico City. Today I'm going to tell you about a little movie that may just be the best film you've never seen in your life. It has no special effects, uh, no violence or car chases. The characters don't just recite lines you've heard in countless movies. Uh, they don't try to sound funny, which they do anyway. Perhaps because their predicaments come f from real dilemmas and uh, matters of light that we can relate to. Yes, the movie we're talking about is Breaking Away. In it, Dennis Christopher plays Dave, who after finishing high school decides to take some time off and spend it uh, on his passions which are cycling and goofing off with his friends. His father um, is as honest about well as a car salesman can be, and more than being concerned about Dave's future, he's more than a little bit jealous about seeing him having such a great time, especially after Dave develops a, a hilarious love for everything Italian. Uh, Dave's friends try to keep him from straying too much from their tight and small group, uh, but his ambitions and talents are really too big to keep bottled up, even more than them or him or anybody else really realizes. Uh, yes, you could say that Breaking Away is about as much about cycling as, uh, say, the hustler is about pool. Down deep, what it is about is about a group taking their most talented member and instead of uh, keeping him down for comfort's sake, using him into a way into bigger and better things. And none of Dave's friends uh, want him to succeed too much, otherwise they'll run out of excuses why they were meant, never meant to succeed in life. What is ironic about the script it, is that it unexpectedly at the end forces them to face their one and only shot at success and leaves them with nothing to hide behind. And I remember when Breaking Away came in 1979 Everybody said that it was the Rocky of that year. Personally, I think it's a lot more than that. Uh, it is a movie, it is not a comedy, but it is a lot funnier than most movies, about, about most comedies anyway. It has a lot more action than most action movies. It is more romantic than most uh, romantic movies, and well, you get the idea. And before leaving, uh, we're going to propose another suggestion for uh, Ebert's little movie glossary, and it's called The Ever Available Electric Racers. Uh, the, beard, the beard of no movie character will grow during the course of a movie. And if at the, at the start of the movie it shows a two or three day growth, it will stay the same throughout the whole movie, even if it takes place uh, in the jungle. A uh, poster boy for this rule is Jason Statham. Anyway, thanks uh, for listening, and until next time, El Balcón está cerrado.